you are going to sweat. There's no way around it. Your armpits will be oozing of sweat. That's just what it is. Hello, lovelies, and thank you for joining me on yet another video. If this is your first time coming across my channel, my name is Kendra, and I create lifestyle, fashion, and wellness content. And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. So today, I will be giving you guys an update on my natural deodorant journey so I did do a transitioning to natural deodorant video that I will link so if you haven't seen that please do check it out so this is an updated video so I've been using natural deo for about two years now I absolutely can't believe that it's been that long I can't believe it's been that long and I've learned so much I've made mistakes I've had quite bad experiences um, so I just want to share with you guys so you know if you are thinking about switching to natural deodorant if you want to know more about the process so I'll basically be updating you guys where I'm at currently if you are thinking about of transitioning to natural deodorant or if you are just curious about what the process is like please do continue watching so there are quite a few things that I've changed so I think one of the biggest changes that I have experienced that has really, really benefited me is switching to natural bar soap. So it actually makes sense, right? That if I'm using natural deodorant, I maybe should be thinking about using a natural bar soap. So I found that when I switched to using natural soaps, it actually regulated my body odor. So I do this thing where I don't sleep with Dio on just because you know I want to see uh, how I feel in the morning so your natural BO is a great health checker right so I like to do this experiment a few times a week just to see how I'm doing and just to monitor my natural BO I find that when I am not drinking enough water or if I'm consuming foods that I shouldn't be consuming that always makes me smell funky but I have noticed such a huge difference with natural soap. So now I don't wake up smelling as funky and I honestly feel that, you know, me using natural soaps really played a big role in that. So if you are thinking of transitioning to a natural deodorant or if you are in the process of transitioning, I would recommend you know, trying out a natural soap and just see how it goes. So onto deodorants, I have changed my deodorants. So in my last video, I was using native natural deo, but obviously now that I'm back in South Africa, I don't have access to it. So I was on the hunt for a couple of months um, for like a good natural deodorant. I did use a few that I just didn't like. So I've now settled for Dr. Teal's that I get from Discam. I love this deodorant. It really works so well for me. It has coconut oil and essential oils with shea butter, arrowroot powder, which is good for um, your armpits, and obviously it's aluminium free. So I find that this one does absorb quite a bit of my sweat and it helps with smell as well. Actually, my previous native deal was also a coconut flavor slash scent so I find that you know the coconut scent really does work well for me I'm really loving this one there are quite a few natural deodorant options that you can get from Discam and there's another one that I used to use it's called Pure Essentials I think I will link it down below for you guys the only thing with that one is I didn't quite enjoy it because one it was like a it was like a gel roll on so i prefer the like creamy texture um and that one did like leave a dark mark around my underarm so although it was great it smelled great it like made it caused discoloration on my armpits and i think that's because of the level of baking soda that was in the deal if you are thinking about transitioning you are going to sweat. There's no way around it. Your armpits will be oozing of sweat. That's just what it is. You know, if you are someone who 
absolutely cannot handle sweating you hate the feeling you feel very uncomfortable when you're sweating you know a natural deodorant might not be for you i know for me personally i don't really mind i mean obviously it is annoying sweating like sweat is annoying but i have gotten a bit used to it now and i'm more focused on odor than sweating and with what's great with natural deodorant is that if you're sweating it doesn't mean you're smelling you know i don't know if you guys experienced this but when i was using antiperspirants um a signal for bad odor for me was when i was sweating with natural deodorants it's not the case and honestly guys sweating is natural like it's your body's natural way of releasing toxins so i'm very fine with it i've made peace with it so i personally don't mind the sweating but yeah if you're someone who can't with the sweating maybe this isn't for you so another thing you are going to sink in the initial stage like you're going to smell there will be a strong onion smell coming from your armpit so just be ready for that i transitioned literally at the height of summer and luckily for me around that time you know i wasn't really needing to like leave the house a lot i was spending most of my time at home so i was able to just like let my armpits do what it needs to do so maybe think about transitioning around winter you know towards the much colder or cooler months because transitioning in summer is going to make things worse because you naturally sweat in summer right it's hot so now if you're going to be transitioning it's going to be even worse but if you are adamant about switching to a natural deodorant i promise it does get better obviously your body is purging and you've been using antiperspirants for all these years so now when you all of a sudden stop using it your body's like wait wait like what's going on like what is this change that's happening there will be a lot of excess sweat and excess smell but it does get better once your body starts regulating so another important point that i wanted to bring up is you may experience some irritation on your underarms i remember my first bad experience was i broke out into a terrible rash under my underarms and i couldn't understand what was causing it so i did some research and i found out that quite a few other people had the same experience and it's due to the fact that baking soda is in most of natural deodorants right baking soda really helps with absorbing odor so so it's quite a common ingredient that's used in natural deodorants but the problem is depending on the levels you know you might find that you are a bit sensitive towards it so the deal that i was using at that time it had quite high levels of baking soda therefore created a reaction around my underarms and it was just a terrible rash so i switched that out for a deal that had a lower percentage of baking soda then just before i switched to dr teals as i said previously um, i was using um, another deodorant that i got from Diskem, and that didn't cause a rash but it left a really dark ring around my underarms and it was so terrible and it was so hard for me to let go of that roller because i loved it so much and it smelled so good and it really worked for me but i just couldn't move past that ring it was so bad like it was bad i couldn't even like pick up my underarms it looked sore even though it wasn't sore um so there again the baking soda was a bit too high for me so it really is trial and error you really do have to try out a few deodorants and see which one you like and if you do get a reaction if you do get some discoloration or if you break out in a rash it's likely due to the baking soda you know even after two years transitioning i realized that it is still trial and error you know i'd be lying if i said that i'm at the point where i'm 100 percent satisfied with my routine with my deodorant with my natural bo because i'm not you know i still want to explore other natural deodorants i want to try making my own deodorants so it really is going to take a while for you to be completely satisfied even when it comes to finding the perfect natural deodorant for you that is going to take a few tries and I would encourage you to try a few. So like for example, I know now that I love the coconut scent. So I try and buy natural deals that have the coconut scent because I know it works perfectly for my BO. You know, and for example, um, in the beginning stages, I was using just like the normal natural crystal stone. 
and that didn't work for me that was an epic fail because one my body was still regulating so I was sweating a lot and it's unscented you know and at that point I'm obviously a bit funky and the crystal is unscented so it was doing absolutely nothing for me so if you are someone who is sensitive to smell maybe the crystal is the best option for you so really allow yourself to explore different natural deodorants do your research and eventually you will find one that is perfect for you and that you enjoy I will say also I don't know if there is scientific proof for this but I have noticed that when I started waxing my underarms, that has really helped with sweat and odor. But yeah, that's just an observation that I've made on myself. I don't want to say like that is what happens, but I know for me that naturally sweat holds onto hair. And when you're waxing, you obviously don't have hair. It's pulling from the root. It's not growing back as fast when compared to shaving. I did find that waxing my underarms really helped me. So would I recommend people to switch to natural deodorant? Yes and no. Switching to natural deodorants is a very personal decision. You obviously need to know why you want to do it and, and you need to be clear on that. Usually I have found that people that transition within the initial stage end up like going back to antiperspirants just because like you know they can't deal with the mess i know for me i really wasn't happy with antiperspirants i had quite negative experience throughout my teen and adolescent years my antiperspirants roll-ons would stain my t-shirts i you know used to sweat way more and obviously as an adolescent your body and your hormones are changing so that's a given but I was really uncomfortable and I just needed a better solution, you know, and I was willing to try anything. Yes, using natural deodorant isn't the most perfect situation, right? Because as I've mentioned, you're sweating constantly. It's going to take a while for your body to regulate itself. It's just overall kind of a messy experience and it's different for everybody, right? But for me, I find that it's worth it. It really does work for me and I honestly can't see myself going back to antiperspirants. So if you would like to switch, I definitely would say go for it, you know, try it out, see if it's for you. And if it's not for you, that's fine. Like if you want to switch back to an antiperspirant, that's perfectly okay. Because as I said, it's a very personal decision and you have to be super clear on why you want to do it. So I hope this video was helpful for you guys. If you have any more questions on this topic, please let me know in the comments and I will be sure to answer them. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.